Smarter Special Teaching presents the Y to I rule. You can have a Y at the beginning of a word, and you can have a Y at the end of a word. But you can only leave a Y in the middle of a word for two reasons. First, you can't have two eyes next to each other. If you handwrite two eyes next to each other, it might end up looking like a U. So if you're going to add a suffix to a base word, and it's going to give you two eyes next to each other, you do not remove the Y. You leave it in place and just add your suffix. He was crying because he was hurt. Let's try it with fry plus the suffix in. If we took the Y off a of fry, we would end up with two Y's next to each other. We cannot do that. So we just leave the Y in place and add our suffix ing. Frying. He is frying hot dogs. Now we're going to try fry plus ed. Here we would not have two i's next to each other, so we will remove the y, change it to an i, and add ed. Fried. He fried some fish in the pot. Another reason to keep a Y in the middle of a word is vowel teams in a word must stay together. We cannot separate a vowel team. So in the word playing, we have play plus ing, but I cannot separate that vowel team. They must stay together. So I will leave the Y there and just add my suffix. Playing. They are playing in the sandbox. Let's try this with the word stay plus the suffix ed. Here I have a vowel team in my base word ay, so I will leave it as it is and add my suffix ed. Stayed. The dog stayed and did not run. Now let's talk about when we make a plural word. When a base word ends in Y and we want to make a plural word, we don't use the suffix S we use the suffix es. So when we want to make a plural word, we change the y to an i, and then we add the suffix es. Let's practice with the base word puppy, and we're going to add the suffix es to make it plural. Here, there's no double i, and there's no vowel team, so I'll change the y to i, and add es. Now I have the plural word puppies. Those puppies are the funniest ones. Now here we're going to change the y to an i and add es. And also in funniest we don't have a reason to keep that Y 
because there's not going to be a double I and there's no bell team. So we're going to take off the Y and add EST. Let's try it with bunnies, more than one bunny. Here, we do not have a reason to keep the Y, so we're going to change the Y to an I and add ES. Bunnies. Those bunnies are hopping all over. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation about the Y2I rule. If you need more information or activities on this particular rule, please come to my store, Smart and Special Teaching. There's lots of activities and resources for teaching reading and writing. Thank you.